Hello and welcome to this short video from SAP Business Client Product Management. We released SAP Business Client 6.0 on October 28th, 2015. And this is not just a rebranding. One of the new major features in this version is that you can consume Fiori Launchpad directly inside Business Client. And from there, you can launch a SAP GUI for Windows native application. Today, I'd like to show you how you can configure a SAP GUI tile for your Launchpad so that you can try this out for yourselves. This video covers the absolute basics of how to add a SAP GUI transaction tile to the Fiori Launchpad. It does not go into detail, so it doesn't cover your system connections or Fiori principles, such as intent-based navigation. Ideally, you should be familiar with these concepts before you start. If you're not familiar, please read the documentation. Links are provided at the end of this video. So this is an outline of the procedure. As you can see, it's pretty short. You open the FLP designer, you create a catalog, create a new tile, configure the target mapping for the tile, and then you add the tile to your SAP Fury launchpad. Uh, please note the URL. I'm using config type CUST, C -U -S -T, which means that my changes are visible only in the current client. For cross-client changes, you need to use CONF, C-O-N-F. Here you see the new system connection type Fury Launchpad. And I'm going to log on to this. And this will open up the FLP as your entry page within Business Client 6.0. In order to configure your Launchpad as an administrator, you now have to open the SAP Fury Launchpad Designer. To do this, you can either use a link to the URL, which you can see here, or you can use the IMG Maintenance Transaction SPRO or you can configure a tile to open the Launchpad Designer directly from your FLP. I'm going to open the Reference IMG, then drill down to NetWeaver, UI Technologies, SAP Fury, adding apps to the SAP Fury Launchpad. The Fury Launchpad Designer appears. Now you can add a catalogue or enhance an existing catalogue. This catalog must be assigned to your user. Add a new tile, and now you need to configure the tile. So enter a title and a subtitle, and also specify the navigation intent. So configure the semantic object and the action. Configure your target mapping. This includes Intent, in other words, the semantic object and action, which you configured for the tile already. The application type, in this case, transaction. The title, the transaction itself, which is SAPMSO. To open a transaction in a remote system, you need to define an RFC destination. And the device type should be desktop only. So now you've created your tile, you just need to add it to a group on your launchpad. So show all catalogs, get the catalog you've just created, and here's your new tile. Add the tile to the My Home group. Go back to your launchpad and you see the tile is displayed as a native SAP GUI for Windows transactions. You can now work with the tile as normal. Once you've tried this out, you can get more information from the links provided. Thank you for watching and goodbye.